All right, guys, so if you found this video, you're thinking about buying one of these uh, cheap $50 wheel chocks from Harbor Freight. And I just thought I'd give my opinion after using, uh, using a couple of these, actually. So um, as you can see, the bike pops up on there real nice. The back part pops up behind the wheel. Um, works good. I actually have used this thing. So um, when I bought this bike, I had this on this little trailer and probably three and a half hour um, coming home. And then last fall, we actually took two bikes on this trailer with two of these wheel chocks and went to Colorado. So we were probably, I would say at least 12 hours out and 12 hours back and worked great. So, you know, for the, for the 50 bucks or whatever they cost, if, a little cheaper if you can get one of the coupon, these things work great. I mean, it's not something that you use super often and that's, um, at least I don't. And that's the perfect time to go to Harbor Freight, I think, when it's not something that, you know, you don't need, uh, you don't need reliability day after day because, you know, they don't make the best quality stuff. But in any case, this works. So the one thing that I don't love about this is you can see I'm actually sitting on my kickstand here and it doesn't, it doesn't keep the front end from, um, from moving back and forth. Now, once you get everything all strapped down and everything, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't want to move as long as you have it locked real tight. But I have had before, if I don't have the strap super tight, um, I've had this wheel want to kind of walk on me a little bit, and I don't like that. I'd like this thing to, I'd like it to be locked in a little bit better in the front. So I've got a really simple idea that I think is going to make this work better for my application. So this is a, you know, this is a Versa, the Kawasaki Versus. Um, if you're running, I suppose, a, a, you know, some kind of a fat cruiser with a, with a real wide front tire, um, maybe this wouldn't be necessary. Although I think even a cruiser probably doesn't have a tire much wider than that. Um, so anyway, let me get this bike off. Let me just show you my idea how I'm gonna try to improve this thing. So here's my plan to try to improve this thing. I've got some half inch angle iron. I was actually gonna use bigger stuff like inch or inch and a half, but this is just what I had laying around. And <clears throat> I think this actually is gonna work perfect. So I just cut a couple pieces. Those are both 10 inch pieces. And what I'm gonna do is just weld these in here, um, figure out what's gonna work good for spacing. I don't necessarily want it to be you know, I don't necessarily need the tire to be squeezed in between these. I just want a little something so that if it wants to try to rock a little bit, it can't go anywhere. So um, I'll figure out what's good spacing on there and we'll get these tacked in. All right, so that's what I ended up with. So just in case you're interested, my spacing on this is, so it's like three and a quarter to the ridges of the angle. Um, I guess I'll just say that. Three and a quarter to the edges of the, rank, to the, of the angle. Um, and that's, what size are these tires? These are 120-70-17s what these tires are. Um, so I already, I'll show you here in a sec, I already had this up on here and I know that this is going to make, this is going to work great. Once the straps are on, there's no way that wheel's moving. It's going to be locked in solid. If I had to do this again, if I was actually buying steel, I'd probably get one inch angle iron. Um, so when you put it up on here, just sitting here, it will sit by itself now, but it doesn't sit great. It, this you know, it's not too hard for those tires to, to bump off that little half inch stuff. But, um, so I'd probably get inch and a half if I had to do this again, um, for whatever it's worth. But for, for my purposes, the primary thing is to make sure that it never wants to, you know, slide side to side on that slick steel going down the road. And it's going to work great for that. So I don't have any paint. I need to get a little paint throw on there so it doesn't rust. 
that I'll throw the bike on and show you. All right, so there you go. I can just jump off it and it, it stays there. So like I said, if you really rock it, it'll jump past that. And that's where a little bit taller angle iron would probably, would probably be ideal, but it's a lot better than it was. Like I said, it's going down the road, which is really what you care about. It's not gonna go anywhere. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Do me a big favor. Hit the like button. If you're interested in seeing more projects like this, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.